All right, guys, Haskell HD here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you is a FIFA 14 investment idea um, video. Basically, this is where I'm going to be showing you guys a good players that you should invest your coins in. If you do have around 10k, 250k, invest in players because when the game comes out, I guarantee you the prices will rise. Um, they did last year, they did the year before, they always do, they're just going to rise. It's a known fact, many YouTubers know it, and many. Um, uh, normal people know it. So the first player who I believe will be a good investment is Nemanja Vidic. He is the highest rated centre-back in the Premier League. 87 rated and he's just got very good defending stats and heading. He has brilliant strength. Pace isn't on his side but now that strength has been brought into the game more I reckon Vidic will be a very very good player to use in your team and I reckon he will he will rise to about 60, 70k. This is just my prediction. I reckon he will go up by quite a bit because, like I said, he is the highest rated defender on the game. And as people get more coins, prices will rise. It's just inevitable. It's what's going to happen. So Vidic is what the first player who I believe would be a good investment. The second player who I do think would be a good investment, as we just get him up now, would be Vincent Company because Company... Again, he's, he's the second highest rated uh, centre-back in the Premier League. Good pace, good defending, good heading, good strength. Um, he's an all-round monster. Uh, you can invest him instead of Vidic, but company, again, will be another good one to invest. Last year, I believe he was around 55k. Vidic was actually 100 plus. Um, so it just depends on the person. And it depends, or it doesn't depend on the person, sorry. It depends on the market at the time, how many coins each person has. That's what I meant to say. And it, yeah, it just depends on the market and what people are willing to pay for a player. Because I reckon company could rise more than what Vidic does. But it's just, you've just got to wait and see. Um, but either way, the players will def that I'm showing you, I'm v extremely certain they will definitely rise. And they will be all good investments. I'm going to be showing you three players each episode. So the final player of this episode also plays for Manchester City and if we just get him up now it is obviously now you can see what I've typed in it is Yaya Torre an absolute fantastic player in real life scored a screamer last night and you can maybe uh, pick him up for a nice deal there's one there for 30k uh, one here for, on the bid but I reckon this guy will rise a lot he's one of the best midfielders in the Premier League again one of the highest rated if not the highest rated uh, I haven't actually checked but either way, he will be very expensive when the game comes out, as people will want him, because he's obviously the best CDM, I believe, in the uh, Premier League. So people are going to want him, and his price could go well over 50k, I do believe. And I mean, if you make 20k on Torre, that would be a very good investment. If you've got, say, 70k somehow, uh, got lucky in your packs, or just you're good at trading on the web app, I found that quite hard. I'll try and give you some techniques uh, in a few days' time. But... If you have managed to find a way of doing it, I definitely recommend you invest in some of the players that I am going to show you. But that is the end of this video, so either the players to invest in for this episode are Vidic, Company and Torre. There will be more to come, I hope you guys will enjoy these. If you have enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like. Follow me on Twitter if you're new, subscribe to me if you're new, and I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye.